Hi to everybody and welcome back to OptiTube channel, the first Italian optometric YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about Tearscope, a very excellent tool for evaluation of a tear film from a qualitative and non-invasive point of view. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire! Tearscope was invented by Guillaume in 1986 and its shape was um, a semi-sphere of a 9 cm of diameter with a central hole in the posterior pole of 1.5 cm of diameter. The inner surface was illuminated by a light source which avoided the tear film evaporation, emitting cold light and its shape was circular and placed in the inner part of the instrument. Today, modern kind of tearscope have a different structure, a different shape, but they work also by the same physical principle, the interference. Yes, we can consider tear film as a structure composed by a bulk plus a film. And when light passes through each layer, the optical path difference between reflected and refracted rays create an interference and then an interference pattern that is correlated to tear film lip layer thickness. So we can connect interferential pattern to breakup time or lacrimal gland dysfunction and use all this data in contact lens clinical practice every day. I will show you now three main interferential pattern that we can connect to clinical conditions. The first type of interferential pattern appears when we have an idoneous user for contact lens wearing and when we have a thickness of tear film lipid layer over than 80 nanometers. In this case we have a fingers interferential pattern colored from yellow to brown to blue and we have a ground colored gray. The second type of interferential pattern appears when we have borderline cases or when we have idoneous user to contact lens wearing but we have a first reduction of lipid layer thickness. In fact lipid layer in this case is between 80 and 30 nanometers and we have yellow waves interferential pattern. The third type of interferential pattern appears when we have a user that feel discomfort in contact lens wearing. In fact, in this case, tear film thickness is less than 30 nanometers. An interferential pattern is composed by marmorial meshwork. In some cases, we could have users that are idoneous to contact lens wearing, but um, there is a possibility to find lipid deposit on their contact lenses and in other case we have users that feel discomfort to contact lens wearing. So these are main kind of interferential pattern. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to follow up the channel on Facebook page, Instagram page and the merchandising on Spreadsheet. And don't forget mainly to subscribe to the YouTube channel, obviously. So we see you at the next video. Hope to style.